Hello my soccer universe and welcome to part one of my Serie A jersey review. I was going back and forth, shall I wait once the international break is over to do this review or shall I do it uh, just before and I know that the last part will leak into that. I decide to go that way, I mean in a way it's kind of a, a switch over anyway since I'm wearing national team jerseys so it's not that bad. I uh, hope you like my background here, I put out all my Italian teams that I have, minus Kievo because they're not playing this season and also minus Napoli because I just ordered it and it's not there yet and since I shoot this nice succession they will stay up here. So um, wearing my Italy 2014 home jersey long sleeve, it's hot outside so I'm sweating already quite <laughs> considerably but I, I really like this one. Uh, and I haven't made a video about this one, so this probably will be one of the first videos during the international break where I look at jerseys, but let's see how it will go. Uh, enough babbling, let's quickly, how did I do this? Like with all my other jersey reviews, I took the standings from last year, I split it into groups of four. So five teams in each group. Uh, the top four are kind of the seats for each video. So we have Juve in the first, Napoli in the second, Atalanta in the third and Inter in the fourth video. And then I kind of split up the other teams in each group. I distributed them kind of in a zigzag uh, way. And then I ordered them alphabetically. And so we start. This is the Juve uh, grouping, but there's also a whole lot of teams with famous jerseys in there. Um, and you know, Serie A is my favorite league. And most of it is down to that this is also to me, the one with the most legendary jerseys, because there are some very unique designs in there that I don't think the other leagues even have. So I can, I really can go crazy about Serie A jerseys, and that's why of the club jerseys I like Serie A jerseys the best. I think I have now of the most jerseys I surely have Serie A jerseys from the club jerseys. Let's dive right into it and we start with one of my favorites. You know, when I say one of my favorites, there are many teams in Italy I like and there's only one that I really, really dislike. It's the one in black and blue that's hanging back there. But yeah, they also belong there. We're starting with Fiorentina, which are now again with Le Coq Sportif and they get this uh, templated version that we already saw with Cameroon where you have basically a very nice uh, plain look you have but the upper part is kind of stro uh, strike out and it's kind of a weird cut uh, in a way uh, which makes it not look as nice to me of course they have now i think a new sponsor which i don't see in this one but i will add a picture later on with the sponsor in white which is not very intrusive there is really not much wrong with this shirt per se it is purple as I would expect it to be. I like the nice stripe here, the three um, red, white and purple. The purple of course you don't see on the side. And other than it's purple with the applications that we would expect. Is it spectacular? No. Is it bad? No. Uh, it's just a little bit weird with this strike out region on top that is just a tad bit darker. And for that reason <sighs> You know, it leaves me a little bit wanting, to be honest with you, and for that reason I only give this six stars. As before, Fiorentina issues four away jerseys. They're really going crazy with that one. Um, but I actually do like, I really don't like when teams release a lot of different jerseys, but in Fiorentina's case there is such a nice story behind it. Although, you know, now that this is the third or fourth, I think it's the third time in a row, it gets a little bit old, I have to say. The blue jersey, same thing as the purple one, um, six stars. Here's the green jersey. Um, it's probably mostly used for goalkeepers. Also, does not look bad. Six stars, I think we will. you know where this is going. The red jersey, I think, makes a whole lot of sense for me as an away kit for Fiorentina, because uh, red is also uh, the color of Florence. Uh, so, oh, you know, the... Lily is at least red, so that makes sense to me. I also give the six stars and the most useful one is the white one. Also very uh, normal, nothing crazy about it. You see the paper, paper, basically the side stripe best on the white one, but also it's nothing special, so also six stars. But you know, uh, you have all the four districts with their colors and then you have the purple, which is basically the main color for the whole thing. 
Okay, let's move on to the next team, which is Genoa. Uh, a little bit... I think Fiorentina and Genoa fans don't like each other. A, B, they played on the last day of the season. A very dreary nil-nil draw that saved both of them. Uh, yeah, the last day of the Serie A season uh, in, in 2019. 18-19 was just nuts. Uh, still not quite over it. Genoa, the oldest, at least the first champions. Uh, they might all also be the oldest team in Italy. A classic Kappa shirt. Uh, has to be said like that. You have the half-half look. Uh, also with the sleeves matching, this is how you do a half-half look. Actually quite nicely. Also look how the sleeve cuffs are switching colors. So I like that. What I'm a little bit not so crazy about is this fake uh, collar. This is re this is not really a collar. It's just uh, protruding out there. And then on the um, proper left, you don't even see that well because it goes into the um blue part so that one is not so crazy but i really like the overall half and half look it's a pretty strong statement i also like that the sponsor and I, but that way i think it's a pretty strong effort um i want to go nine since i expect the jokaria sponsor in there i probably will go eight but yeah let's give it nine just for the sake of it uh but you know if there was a sponsor on there, depending on the degree of color, this will move it down up, up to the But it's a really strong effort. I even like the away shirt better. And here you see this faux color better. But this chest band with the crest is just awesome. This is an awesome design. Um, again, I think there will be a sponsor right below. But this is a nine star. And then the third jersey is also something really special. Um, you know, the Red Cross, the... Um, St. George's Cross, we also see this in the city of Milan. Of course, the city of Genoa has, has it also. Look at just Sampdoria, they have this red cross. Genoa has it in the um, crest on top, so it's also a symbol of Genoa. It, this one looks awesome. I saw this in the first game against the Roma. It's the third kit. Uh, it's definitely... Um, kind of an alternate to an awaken. I don't think they, they will be wearing this a lot at home. It looks awesome. I also give this a nine star. Again, you are really looking strong. I know. Then let's go to big boy, Juventus. They also do a half and half kit, but for Juventus, this is not a look that we are accustomed to. I mean, Juventus is really reducing the number of stripes uh, year by year, and I really do not like that. The half and half look, I think for a season is all right, but after last year we had only two black stripes on the other white jersey now we have the half and half look it gets a little bit uh, boring i think i want to see something um more traditional again having said that of course these sell like crazy because this is an unseen look and then add ronaldo to it and everyone's going nuts about it for me the one thing that really kind of breaks the shirt is the pink center strap i understand pink is the first color of juventus that they have worn they have all the right to wear pink uh no problem with that but why do you put it as a center stripe it just kind of makes this jersey really weird otherwise they the sleeves you know you have this really a uh, half and half look with alternating sleeves i like that also with the three stripes it's nicely done the only thing on the back i think the back is uh where the number name is only all black cannot do much else except you do something creative uh which they're not doing these days anymore i like that the jeep is you know just outlined that makes sense um but it's not a juventus look it really is not a juventus look and for that reason i can give this only four stars in, uh, I also don't like that the uh, Scudetto is worn above the Adidas uh, logo, not in the center. This is I really dislike this part of the jersey. Uh, so therefore, I factor that um, in. That should definitely be different. Uh, the Scudetto. I actually think the Scudetto should replace the crest as it has been traditionally. If not, put it at least in the center. Don't hide it somewhere here i absolutely hate this you earned this cadetto displayed proudly even more ridiculous to me is the away jersey you have a black and white half half jersey and then you have a white away jersey doesn't make sense and then with red which is such just such a non juve color if you ask me juve is black white pink maybe yellow but not red red is not a juve color 
Uh, then there's this weird camouflage pattern on there. <laughs> there's nothing special about this jersey. It's also a four star. A um, little bit more sense makes the third jersey uh, in blue, which is a color that Juve has worn, but why do we have white accents and also the color of the blue? I think if it's the this color, it would be look much, much better. This kind of this um, sky blue, almost a dark sky blue, maybe ocean. Then there's this weird pattern on there, which also, I don't know what this should be, but it's repeated. It looks some animals. Um, doesn't it also doesn't make much sense to me, but it's probably it's useful uh, worn away. I just don't like the shade. I don't like that the white is the accent. I think if the accent was yellow, I think I could live with it. Or you know, if there's a little bit black and white, you know, play with the club's colors. This is again a little bit off brand. It has been a long time that I like the Juve shirt to to the worst. This one I like a little bit, so I give it five stars. Um, Lazio. It's the next one and honestly after last year's kit you only can go down. We were all expecting that they go to a plain sky blue shirt unfortunately. So yeah, that's what you get. A sky blue shirt, white sleeve cuffs, a little bit weird here um, outlining the shoulders. Then also here on the sleeves, the collar I think looks overall nice. Reminds me of the 2012 Italy collar. Um, there are some few weird things in there. Overall, it's not a bad jersey. Again, the cocarda is above the crest. Can we put it in the center? Display it a little bit more proudly. Do you see here? Some Doria has had put it back way back then. Uh, instead, instead of the crest, you can center the crest. I think it would make it a whole lot more uh, prom prominent. I like the shadow striping. That looks all right. Um, Overall, I think the jersey can be a little bit better, but it's an all, all right one, so I give this seven stars. Uh, the away jersey I really like, and see what they did here with the cocarda? The cocarda is centered. That's how it should be. I love the off-center double stripe in light blue and navy blue. I still don't get these specks here uh, between the torso and the sleeves. Uh, sleeve cuffs are weird. Collar is also white on the front and then blue on the back. That is also a little bit weird, but overall I like the design of this shirt a lot. Um, so I'm gonna give this eight stars. And the third jersey is basically a navy version of the home jersey, except, you know, light blue is navy and dark blue uh, and white is light blue. And we also have that the Macron logo is in light blue. Again, Cocarda should be in the center. Other than that, I think it's the same thing. I, I like the colors a lot, honestly. Um, I don't like necessarily the execution. There's a little bit too many weird things, but it's a seven star jersey to me. And the last team is probably the most famous shirt of them all. And boy, did Homa pull out a really nice home jersey. That's everything I expect from a Sampdoria shirt. You have the classic pattern with the blue and the white band with the black and red and the shield for uh, Genoa in there. Um, you have the same pattern on the sleeve cuffs. You have it on the collar. Well, you don't see it here, but my jersey here does have the same. That's from the 95 to 95, I think. Uh, you have... I don't know if it's a tie down. It, it's probably, um, it hints at the, that it is, but you know, you have the big shirt collar. I like that. We can now discuss whether the crest should be where it is or it should go on the sleeve. Uh, I'm okay the way it is. I do a little bit prefer it on the sleeve, which just for tradition's sake, there's a great article on Museum of Jerseys that you should watch, but this is all you want, Sampdoria. It looks wonderful. It looks great. Um, even the sponsor, small, in there, uh, although it kind of tilts it away, I don't mind it because what grabs you is not the sponsor, it is the band. 10 stars? 10 stars it is. It's a great jersey. I mean, you take the classic pattern, you don't mess with it. Or so we thought. The away jersey takes the great pattern and makes an absolute mess out of it. Absolute mess down here on the bottom and deconstructs it in all kinds of ways, puts weird patches, puts weird everything. 
this away jersey, uh, the best thing is that it's white and makes some contrast. Other than that, it's a whole big mess. <sighs> one star. I really can't look past it. it. I really don't like this one. This is horrible, honestly. Uh, it It's really an art form to take one of the most iconic looks in the world of soccer and destroy it this way. No, this is horrible. A one star, I stick with it. Uh, however, the third jersey, um, that is interesting. And I like that. I mean, I'm not sure about the color of this steely blue blackish whatever it should be it also goes slightly into green i mean the color is kind of undefined and then you have this center band where there's a uh it's more bluish than there and then you have uh all the crest is kind of showing the pattern i mean it's it's a little bit weird but i overall i like the idea of that one uh it is inventive <laughs> invent or uh, there uh, it also doesn't have a crest up here because it's here in the center, so that makes a little bit sense. Maybe it's a little bit off, but overall I like it. I also like the color with the button on the top. Uh, that one looks interesting. It's not perfect, especially the color is not, but I think it's still good enough to make it for a seven star jersey. Well, that ends part number one. Please drop a comment below what you thought about these jerseys, which ones you like, which ones you dislike, where you agree with me, where you disagree with me. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to get the other parts too. And jersey reviews are already made for uh, La Liga, the Premier League and the Bundesliga. And of course, I will talk to you soon with part two tomorrow. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates, all the news that are revolving in my soccer universe. And with that, I wish you a wonderful day.